What's up? How you guys doing today? So before what? we move on to um, five top rappers with um, gospel content, I'd like you to subscribe. Please click the like button, comment at the end of the video, of course. But subscribe, you can do that right now to, to support the ministry. Welcome. My name is Alec Godwin and I'm your host for this uh, program by record label, indie record label called Alex Entertainment and we do music movies and more. This is Alec GTV and today we are talking about five hip hop artists who, let me see now, were bold enough to have uh, their lyrics sound like gospel. Uh, I'm not talking about gospel artists now, I'm talking about mainstream secular artists. Number five. And number five is no other but the guy behind me right now, and that is Kendrick Lamar. He was the official songwriter, song contact provider, however you want to put it for the Black Panther and he did a good job because everybody's talking about the music so uh, big ups to Kendrick now for his lyrics he has a way of putting things in between and delivering a good job but making you feel like he could be here or there um, so I give Ken prompts we know he definitely has the guts to to say what he wants to say but he has not really hit the nail on the he head so I'm gonna put in on my number five best uh, hit rapper with no gospel like lyrics. Number four. I will give my number four to Ace Who. Yeah, um, yeah, ever since he left uh, with the best music, he's been writing more like. Uh, a gospel artist talking about I wasn't the right guy who was introduced you know I don't want to go into that but his he had he um his most re recent recording had uh, a lot of gospel lyrics gospel like lyrics um that was almost like hitting a nail on the head like you know this is what I stand for right now and I think uh, positivity should be encouraged and uh, I think in my little way we could do that by giving kudos to them for writing, you know, mor morally right songs, songs that could elevate, inspire. Um, so here we go on my number three. Ready? Ready? Mm. Number three. My man, my main man, I mean, one of my best rappers alive, Kanye West, because he brings that drama into the lyrics, all right? Love his lyrics, his 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 vibe, his attitude, and I think he has a lot, you know, of undercover, you know, stuff going on in that head, in that mind, in that uh, life. He was the father, or still is the father of them all, because he was the first uh, with Jesus Works. He started the trend, and um, uh, today. He still keeps a thread, you know, of them, of other artists around himself who does the same. For example, he teams up with Chance the Rapper and Kirk Franklin uh, in, um, when they do Ultra Light Beam. Alright? That was a classic. That was a classic. And it was very gospel-centric. You know, for him to reach out to Kirk Franklin, for him to, you know, want to do that collaboration. I don't know how it went down, but... I'm impressed that he kept it alive after a while. Number two. Sahai the Prince. <laughs> this guy, he's worded, he's lyric, <laughs> he's, he's, um, 
You know, he's, he's smart, he's intelligent. Down, no wonder Kanye signed him up. You know, it's 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 he's a he's a rare phenomenon, like like no other. He's just in a world of his own. You know, I was very much impressed with his album, um, um, No Dope on Sundays. Now, it takes a lot to come out and say no dope on Sundays because that's a hard statement, right? That being one who grew up from the street, he, he literally says the street grew him up, you know, but today he's trying to tell people, tell rappers, real ones are the ones who trap so they could get out of it, are the ones who do what they do so they could get out of it uh, someday. They're looking forward to getting out. Real, real ones look forward to getting out. You know, but if you're trapped, if you're doing all that just to be doing all that, then you're not, you ain't, you ain't cool. That's a good message. You know, that's not all his message. That's not why he's my number two, but he's on my number two because he's also got scriptures in his album. He quoted scriptures upon scriptures. The, the skits in there, you know, before the songs were amazing. He he sounded convincing, like like he's been a preacher before, like you know. But what we're doing right now, we're giving them kudos for the good they do. You know, what about the other people out there who don't even try, who don't even try to give more? As all they talk is about gangster, you know, girls. You know, in my little way, I'm doing it. I hope they get recognized in bigger ways than this. But you know, big ups to Sai High, the Prince. I'm a prince just like you a prince alec godwin uh and prince sahai we got a collaboration coming up Shh, don't say i told you my number one spot oh my god my number one spot who 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 who, who could that B. Voila. Oh, he's still there. My number one. Could the same person be number one and number two? No, it has to change. Let's try something else. My number one. Did it change? Yeah. Chance the rapper. I hope you're not questioning. I hope you're not doubting. I hope you're not arguing. Because this guy did what nobody has ever done. I think he's an offshoot of Kanye, like he said. He's Kanye's best protégé. But he emphasized more on Kanye's uh, trend with the gospel lyrics. Okay, first of all, he has how many songs? A couple of songs with gospel lyrics in the same album. Not, not, not just one song. Right now, we are encouraging those who do something because it's better than nothing. Something is better than nothing. So we appreciate these guys and we celebrate them for trying out. We hope more artists will try out and help, not because they want to, but because they really believe in it and they think that uh, they got something from growing up in the church and all that, that feeling should be shared. It should be shared with people. It's not, he didn't try to impose, he just celebrated his belief, I think, and everything went peacefully. Nobody's raising an eyebrow, nobody's irritated, you know. He did it so smoothly, so confidently. I mean, who does how great is, is Aga? He repeats it a cappella like for like, was it three or four times? On national radio? It's like, you must learn to worship. It's like, it's like he wants to teach the world how to worship God, like, let them learn. Uh, another song in that album is uh, Blessings, originally done by Fred Hammond. I grew up on that song, and it was so much joy for me to hear him do, redo the song, and he put some extra buff and life to it, and today the song is even more celebrated, and... You know, you can't help but notice songs like Angels. Um, yeah. That will be all for now. I just wanted to play with these uh, five rappers and celebrate them in my little way. I hope you guys celebrate them more. Um, 
thank you for watching uh keep encouraging these guys tweet share like comment on you know notify these guys when they do songs that you like you know um because that that way they keep bringing out songs you know because they know you like it just don't forget to subscribe to this channel uh, so you could be the first to watch everything we have out there uh, like uh, comment tell us your opinions on this five also you might throw more light on who we're not seeing you know help us help us help us help us you know drop some more um insight to who's doing what and we could get more attention and be able to look better you know two heads are better than one and if you guys are with me we can make you know do better videos on this um, and then if you have any pointers for me on what needs to be encouraged let me know i'll be glad to take it up and you know celebrate it with you thank you for watching stay connected as usual like comment and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so more videos coming your way soon it's alex entertainment that's the record the indie record label and we are still into production music movies and more so when you dig, stay connected you'll be first to see our short movie series coming up our music videos our movie reviews and all that we do on this channel if you don't already know uh, it's a whole lot. We ain't in a box. We're not in a box. There's anything can happen on an entertainment channel. So keep watching and thank you for watching. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Goodbye.